Hi and welcome to Knit for Brains. Today we're going to be making these little lamb slippers with their bobble bodies and garter stitch faces and their garter stitch soles. So let's get started. So here we are with the first of our little lamb slippers finished with his uh, fluffy bobble body and little garter face, garter knit face. Now this example is the base is about three inches long. It stretches quite a bit though and it stretches well around the foot as well. So this is something that a child could grow into. It would actually fit up to a one-year-old easily um, and as much as uh, or as low as you know maybe four to six months to a year it will fit in this size. The thing about this slipper is because the the underlying construction is so simple it's really easy to scale up for a child, an older child, or even an adult. It just has this simple garter sole, and then the stitches on the sides, and then the simple garter face. The only thing about sizing up, well, there's two things. One is that the sides have to be an odd number of stitches, however many you choose, if you wanted to make it, you know, 13 high. Um, because the bobbles stagger, right? There's three on this in this case there's three on this row two on this row three on this row so you could go so that there's five on each on this row and then there'd be three in between it needs to be an an odd number the sole can be an even or odd number but it does need these two knit stitches for the fold when we fold it and we sew up along the face and we sew up along the back the only other thing about scaling up is that you want to make this fluffy part of the body about two-thirds of the slipper. You just want the face to be a little bit, even three-quarters of the slipper, and just have the face as a quarter. You don't want a big, long um, snout on this. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen my fox slippers. They have a big, long nose because a fox has a big, long nose. But for a sheep, it's more blunt. So you make the body mostly bobbles and just a little bit for the face, I'd say, in about a three quarter to one quarter ratio. So that's the construction, very simple. Bobbles, I don't, if you haven't done them before, they take a little of ec extra work. Um, but in this case, for this size, we're not doing that many rows. If you're doing a larger uh, size, it's a labor of love because it's just a bit more work, but it, I mean, they're slippers. It doesn't take that long. So let's get started. I'm using an acrylic worsted weight yarn and I'm using 3.5 millimeter needles uh, US size 4. I usually use circular needles but I found when I'm you know I'm wrapping my arm around the camera and I'm the wires are clanking around stuff so I thought I would just use these DPNs and just put these rubber tips on the end and try to use them as a set of straight needles. So in my case for the slipper the sides are seven stitches the sole is four stitches plus these turning stitches on each side, which is six. So seven plus seven is 14 plus six is 20. So I'm gonna cast on 20 stitches and leave a little bit of extra to sew up the back seam. And I'll just do that and I will meet up with you when I have these 20 cast on. Well, unfortunately, when I thought I was taping the knit along, I was taking still pictures. I didn't have my camera turned on. So I'm going to just, I'm not going to knit a whole um, slipper with you, but I'll go through the steps and we'll just kind of fake it because I pretty much have to start all over again. So the first row for me is 20 stitches. And the first row, after you've cast on, is to knit straight across. We do the bobbles on the back side of the of the material and they pop to the front. Okay, so this is our right side facing and it's just knit straight across. So get that done and I will meet up with you to start the bobbles, okay? Okay, I've got my knit row done. Now I'm on the back of the work. My sides are seven stitches long. And so I start with a knit, a bobble, a knit, a bobble, a knit, 
a bobble a knit so I have three bobbles one two three and four knits and then I purl for the turning seam I knit four for my soul I purl and then I do knit bobble knit bobble knit bobble knit and that's the first row that has three bobbles on each side so we'll start by knitting one and now we start the bobble and to do a bobble you bring your yarn forward you go as if to knit you knit but you don't pull your you don't pull your uh, stitch off the needle you bring your yarn forward again you go as if to knit wrap and knit but you don't pull it off you go forward you go in one last time knit and now you do pull it off so it's kind of mushed up but you'll see you have six and then you turn and the, the thing about this is that my yarns in the front so I know I'm gonna purl here and I slip the first and then I purl the five remaining two in the back so I know I'm knitting so I'm going to slip and I'm going to knit these five This is it's it's clumsy on the first few rows, but you'll get better as you go along. So will I? And my yarn's not so tight. Pro two, and then the last two pull together. Three, and yeah, it's tight because we're just at the beginning here. Okay, so now I've got three stitches on my needle. This one. This is my first stitch, it keeps falling off, but it's not a problem, just grab it again. Now I'm going to slip, I'm going to knit two together, and then I'm going to pass over that slip stitch. And that is my first bobble, and here's the front of my work, which is actually behind us now, and the bobble's popping out the front. And so now I knit one. And now yarn forward, go into knit, leave the yarn on the leave the stitch on the needle, go into oh sorry, yarn forward, go into knit, leave the stitch on the needle, yarn forward, swing around and go into knit, and this time take the stitch off the needle and then turn. My yarn is in front, so I know I'm purling. I'm gonna slide slip one, purl five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to turn my yarns in the back. I'm knitting. I'm going to slip one and knit five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to turn my yarns in the front. I'm purling two together three times. Just one time. Two times. And try to keep your attention as loose as you can because it'll just make your life easier. And there's three times. I'm just going to lift up the tension now. And so now we turn one last time. My yarn's coming out the back. I know I'm knitting. I'm going to slip. 
going to knit two together. And I'm going to pass that slip stitch over. That's two bobbles. Knit one and another bobble. Yarn forward, knit, leave the needle on, yarn forward, knit, leave the stitch on, yarn forward, knit, and slip the stitch off. Turn my yarns in front, so I'm purling. I slip the first stitch, purl five, one, oh, I didn't do that very well, but that's okay, one, two, Oh, yeah. See, with my hands wrapped around a, a, a camera and the, the wire of my needles on the desk, this is not an, it's an unnatural way to knit. Okay, so I'm on the knit side, so I slip one and I knit five, one, two, three, four, five, I turn them on the purl side, and I purl two together three times, one, two, and three, spoke too soon there. Okay, and now I turn, I slip, I knit these two together, and I pass the slip stitch over, and I knit one, and that is my first side done with three bobbles. Now I'm on the sole, and, and because we're on the back of the work, we purl one here, for that turning seam and then we knit four for the garter stitch sole two three four we purl one for our seam and now we're back on the now we're on the second side and it's knit one and then a bobble yarn forward knit yarn forward knit yarn forward knit and take the stitch off the needle. Turn our yarns forward. We're purling. We're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to turn we're on the knit side. We're going to slip and knit five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to turn. We're on the purl side. We're going to purl two together three times. This is where I get spat with my needles and this desk and this camera. Everything is just making it difficult. Okay, there's one purl, two together, and here's two, and here's three. And then we turn, and we slip one, and we knit two together, and we pass over. So we'll finish this row, which is knit one, bobble, knit one, bobble, knit one, and then I'll meet back with you. So here we are, first row with our bobbles is done, and now you're an expert at bobbles, you'll be doing bobbles in your sleep. So now we're on what is actually row three, we've got the right side facing, and it is knit straight across with one condition, and that is when you come to a bobble, knit in the back of the stitch instead of in the front. So it's knit, knit in the back, knit, 
knit, knit in the back of this stitch, and continue to knit straight across, knitting in the back of your bobble stitch. Here we're at the sole, and we just knit straight across, etc. So I'll see you at the end of this row, and we'll start our second row of bobbles. Okay, so here we are on row four, which is the wrong side facing, and it's our second row of bobbles. This time we want to offset from these three. So instead of knit one bobble, it's knit two and then bobble. And that will be the case throughout for the, uh, for the first row, the long row, you knit one and bobble two, however many you have on that side. And then for the second row of bobbles, you knit two and then bobble and then knit one. There's one, however many bobbles you have, there's only one stitch between them. And then when you come to the end of the row, you knit two before you purl one for your, your turning for your sole seam. So this is knit two and now yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, knit one, etc. for my bobble. And then I'm going to knit one and then I'm going to do a bobble and then I'm going to knit two and that's when I come to the seam. So that'll be a purl, and then I'll knit one, two, three, four, and then a purl, and then I'll knit two, bobble, knit one, bobble, and then knit two to finish this row when the sides are seven stitches. You'll just continue, you know, that little pattern depending on how long you've made your sides. So I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of my my last row, we're going to imagine I've done a whole body here for this sample. And um, now we're going to change colors for the face. I'm just going to get my scissors. Okay, so now I've got my second row of baubles done, um, offset from the first row. And now we're on row five, which is the right side. And again, it's just a knit straight across with, you know, knit two, knit in the back of this one, knit two, etc. So I'll just get that started. And then we repeat. We're back, we get, we're back on the back side. And then we start on what's row two, which is the, the, the long row of bobbles. And then we do row three, the knit row, and then row four, the short row of bobbles. And we just continue to repeat until we end with a long row of baubles. So I'll go ahead and knit across and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to knit another long row of baubles. And for this example, I'm going to stop there with just three rows of baubles and then we'll attach the face. Okay, so I'll see you when I've got my next row of baubles done. But this is just knit straight across, knit in the back of the bauble, knit, and etc. straight across. Okay, so I'll see you when we get to the end of however long you decide to make it, ending with your long row of baubles. Okay. Okay, I've come to the end of my last row with the 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 long bobble row, and we're going to imagine I've done a whole body uh, for for here for this sample. Now we're going to switch. Uh, colors so we can do the face. I'm going to cut my yarn and we have this tail to sew up the back but this will get woven in. So now we just switch colors and because we're on the front side facing, the right side facing, it's just knit straight across. This one time we're going to knit into the the back of the baubles that are on this on the row beneath but then beyond this it's just straight knit because there won't be any baubles so I'm just going to knit straight across I am going to tighten up my edge here and so I'm just knitting straight across and I will see you when we turn Okay, so I've done my first row of knit straight across and I'm going to turn and because this face is in garter stitch, it's also knit straight across with the exception of our seams here. So my sides are seven stitches high, so I'm going to knit seven.
Okay, so I've knit seven, and now I'm at the seam. So I purl one for that knit seam, and now I knit four for my garter stitch sole. And now I purl one for the seam, and then I just knit to the end. And I repeat these two rows of just knit across, and then knit seven, purl one, knit four, purl one, knit seven, until I've gotten to the length I want for my face. Okay, so I've done as many rows as I'm going to do on here. You can see our little uh, sole with its knitted uh, turning seam. And this is actually, I looked and this is actually about 10 rows because this is eight rows and it's quite a bit shorter. So now we are going to finish up our face and we are going to slip, slip, put our needle back in the front and knit two together. Just hoping my yarn doesn't thread apart. And slip, slip, and knit two together. And we're going to do that all the way to the end, and I'll see you then. Okay, so here I am. I've done slip, slip, knit all the way across. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving enough to sew the seam on whatever length your face is, so that'll be plenty for me. And then I thread my needle. Hopefully this won't take all day. Good. And just run my stitches. I'm going to pull my needles through the other side and I'm just going to pick up these stitches with my needle. If you if you're using uh, straight needles just sew you know into the the threads and take or take them off however if you want to sew from the front rather than from the back I think that should work too and then you can drop them off as you get your needle under. So I'm just lifting them through. That's the last one. So I'm going to pull this tight. I'm going to pull my needle through the stitches first. What is that stuck on? Oh, it's all tied up with itself. Is that all knotted up with itself like that? Okay, there. Now I'm going to pull that tight. Now I'm going to turn it inside out and leaving my thread on the needle. I'm going to sew up. Now here's where we joined. And actually this little piece of tail that you have from cutting your white is important too because you're going to use it to sew the white part. So I'm just going to sew as little nose with the black or the dark gray. And now I've got this tail. I'm gonna. I am going to sew into it, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll weave these tails in later. Now I'm gonna pick up my white, and let's say you know, I'm just gonna knit a couple of stitches in the white here because this is so small. But if you have a, a longer body, and you you want the foot to be, you want the foot opening to be, to sort of the middle of your arch. So, which is about halfway. This is, let's say this is three quarters and you really only want to leave half of your slipper open. So you would sew together a few rows of your bobbles too, and then leave your foot opening. So that's when you would switch to the, the tail that you have left when you join the gray. You have this white tail up. So I'll just do a couple of stitches there because you don't want to, you don't want to sew the white with the gray because it will show and it'll just look crappy. So, so the white with the white. And then you come to the back here, roll all your bobbles in. This is hard because the sample I have is so small, but roll all your bobbles in, roll them all under, and hold your two ends together. It'll be much easier to see when you're working with a normal size slipper and then you will sew this seam down and then turn them inside out and then you're ready to put on the ears and the face. Okay, so I've got my mini little lamb sample here. You can see his sole with the turning seam and his little face and his body. I'm going to stuff this with cat 
uh, catnip and give it to my cat when I'm done. So now it's just the ears. And what I did for the ears was I knit them right on the, I knit them right on. I just picked up three stitches from one of the baubles. And then I started knitting. So the only thing is, is that um, you don't want your seam, you know, when you join to, you get this seam, right? You don't want that to show on top. So you knit it so that you're knitting that way. And then on this side, you'll knit that way. Um, you'll knit away from the, where's my, I have these tiny needles. So I've got three stitches here. And I'm going to get my dark charcoal. And I'm going to knit three. You can do these as a garter stitch or stocking stitch if you want to knit one side and purl the other side. That's what I think I'll do. And so now they're already joined and his face is here. I've got this one a bit low, but it doesn't matter. You can also just knit a little mini scarf of three stitches, however long you want the ears to be, and then sew it on if you'd rather do that, if you don't, if you can't really find, you know, a place to pick up three stitches that you like, you can just knit a scarf. So go ahead and knit yourself some ears. And I'll continue to do this and then I'll come back at the end. Okay. Okay, so I've got my miniature lamb here with his ears on. You can see the seams underneath the ears and no seams on top. And here's the seams, joining seam underneath, no seams on top. And so now it's just a question of sewing on the face. Normally I would I would come from behind. It's kind of hard with this one. And so for the eyes, you know, you can use buttons. I think if it's for a small child that you have to use um, some kind of safety buttons or you can just uh, sew the face directly on and tie in all your ends really well and then you um, you don't have that issue but if you like to do uh, uh, beads or buttons um, just fasten them properly and with um, uh, crocheters if you wanted to uh, crochet little eyes that's all that works with these I just found that simple was best so I just sewed on the simplest possible face that I could imagine and um, and left it at that I didn't want to try to but there are um, you know all kinds of things that you could do now normally I would go in the back now and I'd go underneath and and make sure I tie all, all my ends in I can't do that with this so because it's so tiny I don't have any room to to go in and do that but I'm just so I'm just going to snip my ends my cat won't care you could put a little tiny tail you could do a little um a tiny a little tiny scarf just like this in cream and attach it to the back if you wanted to i haven't done that so there is our bobble lamb our bobble sheep i hope you've enjoyed this knit along and stay tuned for more to come the next one i'm doing actually is a little mouse and the slipper is lined it's really it's really wonderful so it'll be up in the next in the, within the next week so come and join us again thanks for knitting along see you soon bye